Hello my dear jewelry lovers, we have already talked a lot about princesses and queens tiaras, but we have not delved into the tiaras created for the elites not related to the monarchy. Today I will tell you the stories behind the creation of some very unusual tiaras. Sit back and make yourselves comfortable as we begin. Most people associate tiaras with luxury items. In fact, the jewelry borrowed its name from a Persian headdress in the form of a high hat. Today, it is almost not remembered because tiaras, as a type of head jewelry, are worn mainly by representatives of royal families and they are made of precious metals with a scattering of diamonds, emeralds, rubies and other very expensive stones. And among them, there are truly unusual specimens. Beach tiarathis is actually a unique piece of jewelry, the analogues of which will be very difficult to find. It is worn by Serena Armstrong Jones, wife of David Armstrong Jones, second Earl of Snowdon, and nephew of Queen Elizabeth II. It was his workshop David Linley Furniture that was responsible for the production of such an unusual piece. The whole point is that it is made entirely of beechwood. Outwardly, it partly resembles a bunch of thin leaves, each of which has become a real work of art. Nature's Glothis Tiara, called Nature's Glow can be rightfully called a masterpiece of jewellery art. It was released to mark the 85th anniversary of cooperation between two giants of industry, the Australian concern Rio Tinto and the Chinese conglomerate Chow Tai Fook. Based in Hong Kong, inspired by the breathtaking beauty of the Australian landscape, the tiara is designed to show the world the respect between the two equally important companies. The tiara is set with white diamonds and exquisite champagne-coloured diamonds. Waterfowl Prince Romanov presented this incredibly beautiful and unusual tiara to his wife Maria Fyodorovna on the occasion of their silver wedding. The French jeweller Joseph Chomit seems to have been inspired by the beauty of real waterfalls, which is why the tiara was named Waterfall. It actually resembles the splashes of clear water flying in different directions. It is adorned with diamonds of different shapes and sizes, set in such a way as to refract light at different angles and create the illusion of water drops. Queen of Kilimanjaro of Tiara is named after its center stone, a 242 karat tanzanite. In general, this gemstone appeared not so long ago, but already successfully competes with the big four, diamonds, rubies, emeralds and sapphires, due to its rapidly increasing price. The stone got its name solely due to the fact that its only deposit, Marilani, is located in Tanzania, in the state of Arusha. It is not known which jeweler made the queen of Tanzania tiara, but its only owner is the first director of Apple, Michael Scott. The tiara actually resembles an exotic snake in its appearance and shape, and the shining Tanzanite surrounded by a scattering of diamonds and savorites only enhances the impression Midnightis Tiara is worn by Crown Princess Mary of Denmark, but it is not her property. At one time, the Crown Princess was invited to an exhibition of the jewellery house Olingard, held in the Royal Palace of Amalienburg. It was there that this unusual tiara, created by the firm's creative director Charlotte Lingard, was presented. The precious wreath consists of leaves made of silver and white and rose gold. 31 berries are woven into the leaves, some of which are studded with small diamonds that create a frost effect, while another part is made of moonstone. Crown Princess Mary of Denmark fell in love with the jewellery at first sight, but the company had no intention of selling it. As a result, a contract was concluded, according to which the jewellery house gave the tiara on long-term lease to the royal family. It even has its own name, Midnight. Hello Kitty this tiara was not offered for sale, but was created especially for the presentation of jewellery produced for the 40th anniversary of the creation of the Kitty White toy. The author of it in 1974 became the designer of the Japanese toy company Sanrio Yuko Shimizu, and two years later the Hello Kitty trademark was registered. In 2014, Mikimoto and Sanrio teamed up to launch a collection of themed jewellery, including a necklace, earrings, choker, bracelet and hair clip with the image of Kitty's face or her bow. The tiara was meant to symbolise the cooperation between two companies. 
Mikimoto Jewelry Brand and Hello Kitty. It is an openwork decoration of flowers, berries and leaves, studded with a scattering of precious stones, and in the center there is a diamond kitty with a red bow golden poppies tiara is part. A vapor ore and was created in 1976 by Eri Grigster, who was commissioned by Queen Margaret II of Denmark. The jewellery is a composition of eight poppies, the finest petals of which are made of pure chaste gold. Inside each flower, there are small stamens, thin gold bent wires with pearls at the ends. The golden petals and leaves of the poppies are decorated with dewdrops made of aquamarines, opals and moonstones. The scallop to which the poppies are attached has leaves made of golden, transparent and milky amber. And on one of the poppies, you can even see a tiny golden spider. The tiara is complemented by massive earrings and a necklace. However, Queen Margaret so does not wear both the tiara and the full tiara, very often Reen Lalit tiara with dragonflies. In 1900, the famous master enameler René Lalique created a unique tiara with dragonflies. The long-winged insects are covered with bright jeweled enamel and face the centerpiece of the jewelry, a luxurious aquamarine. However, the Lalique tiara has another feature. The dragonflies can be removed and fixed together into a single piece that turns out to be a brooch. Swallow Flight Tiara by Boucher and after seven years. The Boucher and Jewelry House has created the Swallow Flight Tiara. In fact, the jewel is four bird wings studded with diamonds and connected in the center, round one round diamond. Cartier Valkyria Tiara Another Wing Tiara was created by Cartier in 1935. Encrusted with 2,500 diamonds, the jewel was named Valkyria. It was inspired by the winged helmets of the heroines of Wagner's opera cycle The Ring of the Nibelung. Dolphin's Tiara Joseph Shometh, famous jeweler, has created another extraordinary tiara, bearing the name Dolphins. The upper part of the jewelry is several arcs with diamond drops flowing from them. At the bottom right in the center is a huge pearl, which is held by two dolphins on the sides. Nature's Glow Tiara by Rio Tinto and Chow Tai Fuklust, but not least on our list. The luxurious Rio Tinto and Chow Tai Fuk Tiara, released in 2014 for the Chinese jeweler's 85th anniversary, is designed to show respect for the partnership between the two world-renowned brands. The design of the jewellery is inspired by the breathtaking beauty of Australia's landscapes. The jewellery has been named Nature's Glow. Which tiara would you wear? Write a comment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. There will be a lot of interesting things waiting for you.